Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 10 best trail running shoes that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research, and I've listed them based on quality, durability, price, and more I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy, we all have the product for you if you want more information, and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description down below. Okay so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 10, we have the Solomon S. Lab Ultra 3. Both our women's and men's test teams love the Solomon S. Lab Ultra 3, and it's been an award winner in both lineups year after year. We're continually blown away by the performance, enabled by a refined fit and firm, responsive midsole that's protective without deadening feedback from the trail. The combination makes for an impressively comfortable shoe capable of precision footwork for miles. You can be confident in your tread thanks to an effective lug pattern and grippy outsole rubber that provide excellent traction across various terrain types. In short, these shoes have your back. The sock like upper breaths like a dream while blocking debris thanks to the integrated ankle collar, lending these shoes a lightweight and flexible feel that belies their rugged capability. Moving on at number 9, we have the Hoka Torrent 3. Both our male and female tester teams love this shoe, especially for longer distances. But our female testers in particular covet the Hoka Torrent 3 for its impeccable comfort, responsive midsole, and delightfully sticky traction. The lugs are durable no matter the terrain, and the stack height is low compared to other Hokas, making this shoe overall more stable with notable energy transfer. The Torrent 3 balances cushion in an impressively light weight, too, adding to the list of reasons why we love it for most all surfaces and any distance. At number 8, we have the Brooks Divide 4. Simple and reliable, the Brooks Divide 4 skips the bells and whistles to provide a comfortable and reasonably priced running shoe that's great for straightforward terrain. This durable shoe has proven itself over time, while recently updated materials notably improve breathability. The Divide performs well across the board, from foot protection to stability to comfort. The comfortable upper and wide, stable platform makes these an easy pair of shoes to reach for to put in some quick mileage. We recommend this shoe to newer runners who maybe aren't yet sure what they want. At number 7, we have the Hoka Speed Goat 5. The Speed Goat 5 is legendary, an expert blend of performance push-off and cushioned recovery. It's our top choice for big climbing days with many elevation gains and losses. The ample cushioning protects the joints from repetitive stress, keeping legs fresher for longer. And the cushion rarely leaves you wallowing, with enough spring to provide a stable base and support an energy-retaining rebound. A minimal 4mm heel-to-toe drop also helps increase the feeling of stability. We love these shoes on moderately technical, mountainous trails at a training pace. On highly technical trails, we prefer a more responsive shoe. The thick stack and generous cushion of the Speedgoat 5 slow response time more than we'd like in extremely rough terrain. This shoe is also chunky enough to feel unwieldy when maintaining a race pace or precise footwork. At number 6, we have the Saucony Peregrine 13 Women's. If you like trail running but prefer a more traditional feeling fit akin to a roadrunner, the Saucony Peregrine 13 should be on your shortlist. Svelte with excellent protection and a rock plate you can hardly feel, this shoe will mold to your feet and keep you upright thanks to sticky, well-placed lugs. The toe box isn't overly wide, and the 28mm stack is responsive enough to match all trail needs. If you're done with roads but kind of miss the feel, we think you'll love this shoe. We feel like the newest iteration of the Peregrine provides more appeal for the mainstream without dumbing anything down. The narrowness in the midfoot is very stable but may not feel good for all feet. At number 5, we have the Solomon Speedcross 6 Women's. The Solomon Speedcross 6 outsole sports aggressive lugs. We measured them at 5.5 to 6 mm, covered in an updated, tacky rubber compound for unparalleled traction on rocky or muddy trails. Wide spacing helps the cleats shed accumulating muck, so you don't have to haul it around. The midsole cushioning is enough to keep you comfortable, while a responsive forefoot keeps you connected to the trail. This shoe breathes fairly well thanks to mesh paneling on the upper portion, 
and it also offers an immediate glove-like feel, with no break-in period required. Both our male and female testers have worn versions of the Speedcross for nearly a decade, and it's proven its performance and durability time and again. At number 4, we have the Ultra Lone Peak 7. With a measured 23 to 25 mm of level cushioning, a seamless upper, and a wide toe box that gives your toes room to breathe, the Ultra Lone Peak 70 drop shoes offer equal comfort and freedom. Giving the front of your foot room to spread out and grip the trail strengthens the muscles in your toes and feet, keeping you stable in the short and long term. It also keeps you connected to the trail, supporting precise foot placements and an agile feel. The tacky outsole rubber on the Lone Peak provides all the necessary traction and increases confidence on tricky terrain. Impressive lateral stability only adds to what we love about this shoe. At number 3, we have the Hoka Tecton X2. The Hoka Tecton X2 is super fast and excels on crossover terrain. A newly redesigned upper provides security through the foot, limiting unwanted movement. The signature carbon plates take some getting used to, but the spring mechanics allow for unmatched energy return. Throughout our testing, we picked this model over others specifically for speed workouts and race efforts. While it's most suited for blended surfaces, gravel and easy trail, it can tackle technical terrain if you are experienced. City users who frequent both natural surfaces and roads could also find this model ideal due to the less pronounced lug design, which won't slow you down. At number 2, we have the Hoka Challenger 7. Some trail shoes cross over into road running territory better than others. When it comes to crossover shoes, we look for lugs that won't wear down on abrasive surfaces and an underfoot stack that will protect your joints from the literal pavement pounding they are enduring. In the realm of women's trail running shoes, the Hoka Challenger 7 is one of our prime crossover recommendations. We measured a springy 35mm stack in the heel and 25mm in the forefoot, combining levity with function in a way that is both protective and comfortable. The stack inhibits some sensitivity, which isn't typically something our experts take into consideration for road running shoes since the surfaces don't demand as many minor muscular adjustments. The underfoot stack of the Challenger is thick and cushy but doesn't feel heavy underfoot, which adds a nice element of balance. And finally at number 1, we have the Brooks Catamount 3. Brooks debuted the Catamount 3 trail racing shoe in early 2024, building on the success of the previous version's lightweight and responsive, yet still protective midsole. The key upgrade comes in the form of a new single-layer engineered mesh upper, which delivers a comfortable, sock-like fit, while TPU overlays provide structure to keep your foot secure and protected. It fits a little snugger than Brooks's road shoes, but that's a good thing here. A tight wrap will help you avoid rolling an ankle on rocky, uneven terrain. Thanks you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure like comment and subscribe, if you have any question related to this product you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.